Hi, I'm Victoria Ludeman and I am the CEO and co-founder of Awesome DIY Websites. And today you'd like to find out what a hyperlink is. A hyperlink is uh, some text that people can actually click on and it is linked to another website or to another email address. So if you are looking, if someone is looking at your actual particular website, they will click on a button and it will load the page with the information on it. And sometimes you'll see that something is underlined with a different color. Typically it's blue, but people can change the color of what that hyperlink is. Or you'll see it says, click here for more information. And when somebody clicks on that link, it will either go to another page within their site, or it will link to somebody else's site, or it will link to, to email. Um, that is called a mail to link. So when somebody actually goes to a hyperlink, what I would suggest that you do, and make sure that this happens when you commission people to design your sites, that it is, um, you know, you, you've got it clear that this is somewhere where the client has to click it because in some cases people will remove that underline and it's not clear to the customer that uh, there's a call to action on that. So what that means is when you click on that, now it will bounce through to um, another website. In this case, it's to awesomediywebsites.com. My tip here for you guys as well is that make sure that it actually opens in a separate window or in a pop-up. If you have it in a pop-up, sometimes people will block pop-ups because of all those crazy adverts that seem to uh, jump out on the screen. So some browsers you're able to, to disable that. So ask your uh, designers to make sure that it goes into another window so that people can um, actually view it and then come back to your site and close that window and continue your site. Sometimes what you will find is that if you don't do that, it overrides your site and you lose your customer and you've just aggravated them and, and it's hard work for them to try and find your site again and that runs the risk of, of you losing that client which of course we don't want to have happen. A mail to link is um, slightly different um, this is where it is linking to an email address so say you want somebody to create an order it might, or have a general information question it might be info at awesomediywebsites.com or whatever the case may be and when somebody clicks on that it will go into their configured Outlook or Outlook Express whatever their email program is and then they are able to send a message through for you. Uh, a lot of the time what is very handy for you to know with mail to links or email uh, links is that um, you get your programmers or your designers to actually have it in the subject bar that this was an inquiry that came from the website so you can track the amount of clients that are making orders or sending requests through from your site. It's not just a typical uh, straightforward email account. You can have that also put in your e email um, address bar when people actually send that through to you. Um, one thing I would say to you guys is with email and mail to links is that you do need to be aware that um, spam people tend to crawl these websites and if you have got that link they can then link up your email account so if it actually is active like you could type in the info at awesomediywebsites.com but not actually link it to the uh, Outlook or Outlook Express um, and then they can't pick it up. Uh, but what we would suggest you do, and we do this for our clients, is we, um, when something is actually submitted, um, we actually have a facility, and sometimes you'll see this, is that they ask you to enter a code so that we know that it's actually a human who's actually asking for the, the information and it's not some automated um, process that's trying to collect your email details so that they can spam you. Um, of course, we have all of this kind of stuff covered with awesome DIY websites. If you choose to do uh, your web business with us and you want some handy tips on how to get your business off the ground in a successful way, um, we can certainly help you with that. Hope you found this information useful. There's plenty of other info that we have both on our awesomediywebsites.com website. Uh, we've also got other useful uh, free resources and support groups at our awesome blog, which is the web address with forward slash blog at the end. Thank you very much for joining us today.